We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving into SD Gundam G Generation Crossrays once more. We're in the last few levels of the Iron Blooded Orphans uh, storyline. I I finished watching season two of Iron Blooded Orphans, and oh man. Uh, still highly recommend the series, but oh boy, it broke me, it wrecked me. It was uh, it was real painful, real rough, uh, and it's all gonna kind of kick off now, the start of all the terribleness. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. Lit by a blazing sun. The man-hunting angel, Hashmal, a relic of the Calamity War, was brought down once more at the hands of the demon called Gundam Frame. It's been a month since that terrible. I thought it was terrible at first, and then I thought it was terrific, and then I, I went terrible. Yep, it's been a month since that terrible battle. Orga visited Saisei to report what had happened, his hands clutching the Sakazuki cup he'd once exchanged with McMurdo. For you, sir. What's the big idea? Tekadin is going to fight a battle, and no one knows how it will end. If our existence ever becomes a nuisance to you, please break this and disown me from the family. <laughs> ah, I see. You've become a perfectly well-groomed dog of Gallahorn, Orga. Sir, I... I'm not here to reproach you. For Tewaz's part, it wouldn't do for us to give up on our in income on Mars. Give up our income on Mars. But things are going to be a bit different from now on. I'll keep this for now. I've taken pretty good care of you guys so far. If you ever do anything to betray Tewaz, I'll break a lot more than this Sakazuki cup. If you catch my drift. Yes, sir. Orga it's Itsuka. I'm starting to learn how to say names like Gailio and Naze. Alright, I heard you handed over your Sakazuki cup to the old man. Scary guy, huh? He made it very clear that betrayal would cost us. <laughs> he told me if things pan out well, I'll get promoted to underboss at HQ. Underboss? He's probably predicting that you guys will win, slapping a title on me so he can keep a tight rein on you lot. Uh, the old man makes decisions based on results, plain and simple. Once you start something, you're not allowed to quit. I understand that, sir. Good enough for me. Say, how's Mikazuki? It's the right side of his body this time. So he's... Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah? Is being king of Mars really the right goal to pursue for your family? Uh, that's what I believe, sir. If we get there, I can give them an easy life. I'll give them proper standings. Why do you ask? Well, it just seems to me like you're in too much of a hurry. There are other ways you could serve your family. Well, perhaps there are. But fighting is something inescapable for us. The blood we've shed, the blood we're going to shed. Why are you getting so worked up? You have the right of it, Orga. This might be the only way to get that done at the end of the day. But from where I'm standing, it sounds to me like you're crying out. It doesn't matter where we're headed. I just want to get there and have it easy. You know, you get the idea. Brother. Tekadin prevented a second tragedy and once more demonstrated their strength. But their achievements fanned the flames of their enemies, leading to new plots against them. A turbulent shadow looms ever closer behind the young men. Indeed it does. Apparently people don't like other people doing well, and they just want to sabotage and murder them all the time. Those Tekadin punks did too damn well back there. Now the old man's given his approval for Tekadin's connections with House Farid. Hell, with Gallarhorn entirely. It's a plan, we can't let this go unchallenged. We've made a connection of our own. And ours is with Gallarhorn's mightiest force, 
the Aranrod fleet. It's worth way more than anything to do with that Johnny Come Lately McGillis. Sir, the fun's only just beginning. I think Eok might still be the worst, but this guy's pretty bad too. Gallahorn Earth Headquarters, Vingolf. As the report states, the purpose of my trip to Mars was purely to inspect the mobile armor. Lord Kujan deliberately misread those intentions. His brazen interference woke the mobile armor. Osfarid cooperated with a local organization to destroy the mobile armor without incident. One false step and it would have overrun an entire city and caused catastrophic damage to Mars. Shut up! It was all a setup by you! Now why would I do that? The Order of the Seven Stars. I care nothing for such things. You're not fooling anyone. Isn't that right, Lord Elyon? Uh... Fine work subjugating the mobile armor, Lord Farid. Wait, what? Master Rustle. And it's, uh, ba it's Gileo Baldwin. But they don't also pronounce everything correctly. We'll get to that a little bit later on. Why? Why did you not denounce McGillis and his ambitions? Calm yourself, Eok. As long as we don't know exactly what his ambitions are, denouncing him would be little more than whining on our part. But sir, we of Gallahorn are the custodians of order. If we act out of turn, we would only be undermining ourselves. But that's... To forget Gallahorn's rightful stance and lose sight of our objective. As someone who holds a position of leadership within the Seven Stars, I would have to rethink allying with any family who would do such a thing. G Calm yourself, Iakujin. Ugh. Master Rustle, ugh. I don't particularly like Julieta either, to be honest. About engineering's request for a test pilot for the new model? Ah, I've heard about it. I see no need for you to. Please, sir, permit me to do it. Did you not listen to what I just told Eok? I listened to all of it. However, I have not mistaken the order of things. I wish to be the sharpest sword you can swing, Master Rustle. That's why I wish to be stronger. I would ask for nothing more. Hmm. Please. Suit yourself. Ah, thank you, sir. That said, you're strong enough already. Understand what I want from you is something different. Yes, sir. She's definitely not strong. Alright. Ah, it's the ride and go. Stage 10, lit by a blazing sun. Mars, Tekadin's headquarters. The Ryusu, uh, sorry, the Ryusei Go 3 is now officially yours. Work hard and make it look good. Yes, sir. Still, you've taken that perfectly nice 3 and painted it in such a drab color. You think? I think it makes it look more badass. And seriously, could you stop calling it the third? Huh? <laughs> From now on, it's going to be called the Raiden Go. Huh? The Raiden? Eh, why not? One name's as good as another. Now, hold on just a minute. I'm not letting that one go. Letting what go? Hey, Orga, quick. Wouldn't you agree that the Ryusei Go is the coolest sounding name? Welcome back, Orga. Hey, Mika. How do you feel? Like usual. Heh. <laughs> good. Hey, Orga, when's Barbatos going to be fixed? I already told you, I'm taking it to Saisei. Uh, you're going with it. I am? Yeah, and the turbines too. Hmm? I appreciate all the help you've given us. Give him my regards. No, uh, thank you. Living here wasn't so bad. I never did beat you even once, but I'll be able to the next time we meet. Aw, oh, come on. We'd miss you. Hmm? How many years do you think it would take for you to reach our ace's level? Heck, we might never see you again. Ouch! Say, where's Lofter? Oh, her, she's... Uh, yeah. A 
laughter. You really had me scared back then, you know? You just rushed in headlong, all beaten to hell and back. Well, it worked out. That's beside the point. Don't do anything too crazy. You've got people under you now. Yeah. I won't have you around either. Err. The only people I've ever been able to trust to watch my back have been you and Mikazuki. You're right, I do need to think more before I act. G good enough. I I'll take it. What? N nothing. Let's shake on it. Huh? Oh. Thanks. Keep your chin up. Y you too, Akihiro. Yep. Laughter, Akihiro, Ozzy, Ride, Shino. Ugh. <sighs> Out of the question, you say? I'm afraid so. We're mostly honored to have a distinguished son of House Kujan come with us. But it would be inadvisable to go directly up against Tekadin right now. Yeah, I've heard enough. I was a fool to turn to you. I must get revenge against Tekadin at all costs. It's the only way I can repay the loyalty of my fallen men. Sir, I would ask you not to get ahead of yourself. Huh? I am simply suggesting a more effective approach. What? It's Jasly Dominico, Dominicals. At the end of the day, Tekadin is a mere task force. Your real enemy isn't them, it's the people behind them. Well, who's that? The Turbans. The Turbans? It's one of Tewa's subsidiaries, led by Naze Turban, who acts as a brother to Tekadin. The only reason Tekadin clings to their position is because they're under the Turbans' protection. I see. The Turbans. Of course, the Turbans. Now I get it, Jasly Dominicals. I just have to bring down the Turbans, yes? That'd be acceptable. Yes, this will bring a light to my life. I only have this life because of my men's sacrifices. If Master Rustle holds my life in contempt, I would never be able to face my men. <sighs> Yakujan is cracking down on the turbans. Yes, sir, he's locked down every backdoor route the turbans use, including the Crode Corridor. So someone in Tewa's leaked their intel. Anything else? Apparently, he took something from Depot 4 when he departed. Depot 4? Isarugi, do you remember the attack that Tekadin used on Mars to pin down the mobile armor? Sir? It was a Don Slave. They're powerful enough to pierce even nano laminate armor. Large railguns have been banned from use by treaties signed under Gallarhorn. Since they used conventional warheads for them, it falls into a gray area in the treaty. But, I don't think that's what Lord Kujan's taken. Mobile armor emerged, a relic of the Calamity War. A Gundam frame controlled by Mikazuki August showed the world the power of the ancient demons. Fear and agitation from what will leave the people shaken and eventually it will become a tide that engulfs our very era. The way these banned ancient weapons are coming to the fore could be an indicator of the times changing. Then... Contact all of our comrades. Tell them the time has finally come to rise up. Yes, sir. The masked man is who I think it is. That would mean Rustle Elion already has me by the neck. But he will never grasp my soul. What do you say, McGillis? I'm glad you could visit us, Mikizuki. He's, he's just chowing down on, like, cannolis. I heard all about the mobile armor thing. Beating a monster from the Calamity War. You're an interesting guy, you know that? Not really. Oh, just, just keep eating. I figured he'd be more intimidating. He's just an old man like any other. 
Must have taken a shine to Mikazuki. Just remember, we're going to have dinner soon. Don't fill up too much on snacks. Okay. Sir. What is it? It's about the Gallarhorn crackdown. The turbines, right? It's the usual harassment. Let Naze handle it. Actually, Naze has gone missing, sir. What? They weren't carrying anything illicit, right? No, sir, but an inspection found a particularly prohibited weapon on a turbine's freighter. A prohibited weapon? If you would believe it, sir, it's supposedly a Dan slave. A Calamity War era weapon. They're claiming the turbines. Sorry, the turbines prepared it for Tekken to use on Mars. No way. Do we use stuff that dangerous? Don't ask me. I, I don't know. The crackdown is because of that discovery. Gather up the top brass. Yes, sir. Ugh. What are you going to do? Gallohorn has declared the turbines to be an illegal organization. If we try to give them any help, then we'll just get dragged down with them. Tell Orga it's it's got that. Now hold on. Got it. I'll tell him. What? Wait a minute. Mikazuki? You're backing down awfully quick. I can see it in your eyes. You won't budge. Oh. <laughs> ah, the hammerhead. It's not just Gallarhorn we're up against this time. They have our secret routes and unregistered offices, which means... Yep, we got backstabbed big time. You think it's Jastly? As much as I hate to think it, it could also be the old man. In any case, I guess it's finally time for us to pay the piper. A QCCS call. It's Tekadin. Put him through. Yes, sir. Brother. Give me the hammerhead's course. Will you stay out of this? What, bro? We're an illegal organization now. If your ties to us come to light, what would happen to Tekadin? But this is all because we used Flaros. You're missing the point. This was a plot to set us up. That's just what was used. It could have been anything. The one who planned all this definitely accounted for you guys sticking your noses in. If you rush in... You're just playing into their hands. This is all a product of Tewaz's infighting. You guys have got pretty much nothing to do with it. We're a part of Tewaz too. Of course we've got something to do with it. Hell, I don't care whether we do or not. As long as I can save you, then hear me out. I exchanged the Cup of Brotherhood with you, but I'm not part of your family. What are you saying? Don't lose sight, Orga. You've got something more important to protect. Make everything else second to that. But... If you want to make your family happy, you'll need more than your average resolve. You've got better things to do than get entangled in other people's trivial affairs. You want to become King of Mars to give the members of Tekadin an easy life, isn't that what you said? <sighs> if you get it, then keep your eyes on the prize. Protect Tekadin, your family. That's all that should matter to you. You got that, Orga Itska? Brother. Let me tell you something, brother. Damn it. They know Naze's being framed, but the old man chose to look the other way? The Ariane Rod fleet's closing in on him. I should be... Boss, if you act now, Tekken will be labeled an illegal organization just like the Turbans. Now, as I knew that, that's why he ordered you to stay put. Yeah, no crap. But I want to save him. And crush Tekadin in the process? Ugh. Is it so wrong to want to do something? I just... This ain't like you, Orga. Weren't we supposed to keep pressing onward? Shino? Where are the turbines? I had a relay station off the Ariadne course. They'll probably evacuate their non-combatants there. But the Gallahorn fleet is closing in on them. Sounds like a job for us, then. Wait, what are you doing? 
My Ryusei team and Akihiro's muscle team will go secure the escaped non-combatants. Wait a minute, Shino. What do you mean, muscle team? Who wants a lame name like second unit anyway? Do you understand what happens if Tekadon acts? We just gotta avoid fighting them, right? What? We're just rescuing civvies. I, I have serious reservations about this. We cannot let Gallarhorn find Tekadon there. You are not taking the ship. Yeah, we get it. My Ryusei go, Akihiro's Gusion, sorry, Gusion, and Ride's Ride and Go will go first. Guys, we are just doing an mobile suit operational test near the relay station. We happen to pick up turbine non combatants. Easy. Uh, that would go against what Naze said, right? Boss, please let us go. You're not the only guy that owes the turbines one. Uh, Shino, Akihiro, please take care of him. You got it. Oh boy. As families grow bigger, it's only natural for them to sometimes come apart at the seams. That goes for Gallarhorn and Tewaz both. So, what do you want me to do? Old man, please allow me to return my Sakazuki cup. I'll disband the turbans, and your unworthy son has one last request. You want me to take care of your girls, right? I'll arrange it so that they join organizations directly under me. I'll warn you now, I might not be able to put them all in the same place. I'm most grateful, sir. <laughs> it's not the first time I've indulged your silly whims, that's for sure. It will be the last time, sir. That doesn't sound good, does it? Turbines Relay Station. Uh oh. We have to get away before the Ari the Ariane Rod fleet gets here. Stay calm. We get your rears in gear. Keep on going, no stopping. I can handle the rest on my own, all of you. Hurry to the transports. Well, on your own? You're going to drive the hammerhead by yourself, darling? That's crazy. I'm just going to use it as a decoy if needed. A decoy, but that's... S7 of the station's laser communication network is down. S4 and S8, too. They're heading right for us. There they are. Ba -bling, ba -ba -bling, ba -ba -bling, ba -ba -bling. Target asteroid is in sight. All right, send out the mobile suits team. Don Slave team, stand by. You're deploying all of this against ants? Strike every enemy with all your might. That's the House Kujan way. A very noble of you. There we go. Ariane Rod's here? We'll go divert them. Nope. You're going to escort the transports. I'll handle this. But... We've got a little time before Ariane Rod attacks. <sighs> Once I've seen you guys reach a safe distance, I'll turn tail and run too. Either way, you'd endanger yourself doing it on your own. I'll back you up, Amida. After Ozzy, you protect the family. Mobile suits are fast, but handle handheld weapons won't pierce this ship's hull. Guide them so they can evacuate without panic. Sister. Now get a move on. Yes, ma'am. Oh, boy. Let's stay behind the transports. Roger. It'll be okay. I'll protect our family. I'll keep them safe, no matter what. Atta girl. Just keep moving onward. Straight forward. Okay. Let's move, Amida. You got it. How is it so easy for women to see through men's lies? That's men for you. They tell the most bald-faced lies. And why do women let men fool them? That's what happens when they don't really love the men. 
You plan on taking sole responsibility for this, don't you? You'll claim you transported the prohibited weapon alone. You'll surrender to Gallarhorn and make amends, even at the cost of your life. That way, your precious Tekadin would be spared too. If you go alone, you just get sworn by mobile suits and beaten to a pulp. I'll be your vanguard. She sees through everything, huh? I really am loved. Transport ships are leaving the asteroid. One warship is approaching our fleet. Checking Ahab frequency. It's a turbine's armored assault ship. To think they'd come at us. I respect their bravery. Oh boy. Signal flare from the assault ship. It's a request for a ceasefire. A ceasefire? Shall we accept it? Hmm. That's the most curious report. Did anyone see the ceasefire signal from the enemy ship? Uh... No, no sir. Nobody did. <laughs> and there you have it. Send the mobile suit teams forward. Fan out the dance, dance leaf team in front of the fleet. Yes, sir. I just, I just don't... Uh, uh, Naze, new mobile suit team readings in front of the enemy fleet. The hell is their game? Don Sleaf team, open fire. Oh my god. An attack? W where'd it come from? My god, the transport ships. Uh, they just keep coming. Well, what was that attack? They're just transports, but those shots bursted straight through the ship-grade nano-laminate armor. Did they use the weapons? Man, now they're just rubbing it in. Everybody get out of their firing range. Hm. You won't be going anywhere. Don Sleaf team, load your next shots and be quick about it. Naze, second volley incoming. Damn it, stop this! Uh... What the heck? We can't take any more shots like that. Move the ships, quick. Enemy transports have begun moving. Not a problem, that's why I sent out the mobile suit teams ahead of us. Master Eok, I'm taking the Julia out. So be it. Go on. I doubt we'll have any shot at glory now, though. I don't care a whit about this ridiculous operation. I have a job to do. We'll hold them off. Lofter. I know. Oh, boy. How do we get in front of us? It doesn't make any sense. Is this how Gallarhorn operates? The turbines don't whine. Yeah! You okay, Lofter? Akihiro, what are you doing here? Do I need a reason? Go on, we'll buy you some time. Wait, we? Yeah, us. Shino? Ozzy, I'm glad we made it in time. Ride? Go on, get out of here. We got this. Leave the rest to us. You've gotten better. I had a good teacher. We'll take it from here. Go protect your family. But... Let me cover your back. Uh... Laughter, we're going. Akihiro? Yeah? Next time I see you, I'm gonna squeeze you real hard. Why is she gonna strangle me? <laughs> I told her we're gonna stay out of this. <laughs> I can see it now. You're grinning in there, aren't you? 
Mission start. Destroy all enemy units. Can you destroy all enemy units with all small container vessels remaining? I don't know. Anyway, guys and gals, that's the story so far. It looks like we're going to get into the mission proper in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I know this is going to be a bit of story, a bit of gameplay, a bit of story, a bit of gameplay. It's going to be some multiple gameplay, some multiple stories. Uh, overall, again, I tend to like a little bit more of a mix, but I don't know. I, I actually don't mind this at all because, like I said, it does a fairly good job of recreating the, the show. And if you guys have never seen the show, you get a pretty good uh, cut of it. You get like 80, 85% of the show being shown here before your very own eyes. And something, you know, to that. So it's almost like getting to watch the show and then still taking part in it. I, I really enjoy this. Anyway, I hope you guys are still having some fun. Hope you're still enjoying it. And I'm looking forward to the next episode. Hopefully you are as well. Until then, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight. We conquer.